Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are 88% ready to go to Mars. Our Mars readiness, uh, we, we have an average chance, but we are we're on our way with the ground hab to Mars. So that's pretty good. And we actually have the research that we need uh, for this. So, um, yeah. We're pretty darned well off, I think. And everyone else is way, way, way behind. If we take a look at uh, the missions over here. So, we've done this. We've done this. No one else has the research. No one else has the research. Japan has the research, but they're not planning the mission. We've done the sample retrieval. No one else has the research. We're doing the ground hab. Uh, China has the research, but they're not doing the mission or planning the mission. And for the crew rover, Japan has the research, but they're not preparing the mission. So yeah, we are doing pretty darn well. So let's continue on. And we have our X-ray telescope payload ready, the XMM Newton. And ooh, the upper stage build time is plus 50%. I don't like that one bit. And we have our cumbersome, the exospheric studies vehicle co complete. So let's plan that out. We'll do science research our payload is super reliable and our launch reliability is pretty good as well and we'll launch next month because we don't get that much uh, uh, bonus from our um, training mission training bonus reduced by 50 percent per month so if we wait until july we'll only get 12 and a half percent i think it's fine to go like this so confirm mission setup and we actually have two mission slots that we're not using. We need to design a vehicle for this guy, the XMM Newton. And we can't use the shuttle for it. Hmm. Payload is 8,500 kilos. Let's use the Saturn 2 and the Saturn 5. It will take 15 months to build. Alright. So next month, month we are launching the Exospheric Studies. And we have the Contractor's Office complete. Now I forgot to put upgrades on our... vehicle for the um for the x-ray telescope which is unfortunate we have good conditions two percent risk of going boom eight percent of a negative event let's go the exospheric studies mission and we have liftoff we are clear of the tower we're looking good go baby go Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we get a secure launch. Beautiful. Atlas and Agena are as reliable as they get. And we need to enter Mercury transfer orbit. We have thrust and drift to contend with. So we need 12 thrust and 12 nav so we need to hit the calculated thruster burn three times on the last turn so we need six data and three comms by that time all right for drift we need to be within minus one to one there's no fluctuation or anything so that's nice So let's do a signal attenuation test. Uh, 
And I think some Doppler tracking once. And then we can do a solar flare analysis. We have four turns, three commands per turn. This gives us two, two, and four. So we are underway and we are super reliable. I mean, we have one percent chance of failure and 10% chance of a positive event, which we got here. We got an extra nav and we got another one for an extra data. Very nice. All right. I think we'll do mission control monitoring, solar flare analysis. And a Doppler tracking. Yeah. So what we really need is a lot of nav. So I think we'll do this. Then next turn we can do the three calculated thruster burns, which is the final turn. And that'll give us the nav that we need as well. And we shouldn't have to resist anything really, unless we're really unlucky. So those three, confirm. Drift is where it should be. And we are all good. 50% bonus reward achieved. Alright. A bit of support, which will take us over the next support uh, threshold. So we'll get our next funding tier. And 338 science for five months. Not bad. And we have a new request mission here. A centrifuge module together with Russia. No, thank you. Don't really want to do any of these. So next phase of the Mars prep is in two months. The conference center is complete in three months. And then we have the next phase of the exospheric studies in five months. So let's just continue on to the next event. Next mission phase, Mars Prep Ground Hab. Let's do it. There we go. Phase two, that's the mid-course correction. Uh, and we need 10 nav, 10 thrust. And we need to get our drift down. It increases by two every turn. So, how about, now th for thrust, we need to hit this three times. So on the last turn, we need to hit it twice, and the second last to hit it once, because we only have two commands per turn, six turns though. So we need six and three. So how about we do a manual thrust adjustment and a ranging uplink on the first turn here. That gives us four, one, and one and brings us two down. Oh, dang it. We'll resist it. All right, it goes two up again. Then we'll do... I think a cosmic dust analysis as well as a Doppler tracking that gives us four, three, and five, and again zero. Dang it. All right.
Then we can do two packet transfers, taking us to 11, 8, and 1. Let's do that. Nice, a bonus there for an extra comms. Not that we really need comms. Comms is the one that we're good on. But it will allow us to do two manual thrust adjustments. Which means that we can do a cosmic dust analysis and a calculated thruster burn next turn. Ooh, that was close. Actually, let's do ultraviolet imaging and a calculated thruster burn. Because that will give us plus two, and then we, we, which means we're in the, within the margins, and then we can do two calculated thruster burns next turn, completing it and giving us our 50% bonus reward. So we're within the margins. We are not going to have the plus two this time. So it's all good, and we get our 50% bonus reward. And you even get some extra thrust. All right, 50% bonus reward achieved again. Very nice. Mid-course maneuver done. Some more support and 243 science for five months. Our centrifuge training will be done in a couple of months. Lunar broadcast with Japan. I actually wouldn't mind doing that because Japan... Yeah, let's plan that. The lunar broadcast. We'll put extra crew on it. And build that payload. That'll take five months. Next month, the conference center is complete, and then in three months, we have the next phase of the exospheric studies. TV stations battle for broadcast. TV stations across the world are competing for exclusive rights to the live broadcast planned by a lunar broadcast mission. Granting rights to the highest bidders would net your agency 400,000, though your PR team have pointed out that freely granting the rights to all stations would result in the largest worldwide audience and likely a support boost. We will grant free rights to all stations. And the conference center is complete. Uh, so plus 10% total awards from successful joint missions, and it allows us to propose joint missions. Not really, that we really need to. Let's continue on. Centrifuge chain training is complete. Next mission phase is ready for the exospheric studies. So can we actually fit this in somewhere? We can. In a few places. Let's just build it here. Here's fine. Alrighty. And let's research some more. Let's do water sound suppression. And we have our exospheric studies mission where we need to do the mid course correction, I think. No, we don't. I'm sorry. I. Completely skipped over that nice cop scene of Mercury. All right. Uh, wow, plus six heat every turn. We need to keep it below five. All right, we need 14 comms, four data, and 14 nav. Okay. Let's do a look. Extrapolation. 
then so we have four turns three turns remaining then we can do an infrared mapping and a data compression that takes us to five two and zero and to three heat man we really need to do something about this heat So one, five, and two. All right, I'm okay with that. But we are super reliable, and we got an extra nav there. Nice. And that means that we actually need a lot of heat reduction here. We actually need to do that. <laughs> I d I'm not sure we can do this. I think we might fail this mission. Because we're up to nine heat again. So that gets us down below. But then what? How do we get these? I think we're going to fail this mission. Because we get six heat now. But we don't need to worry about heat now. So we can do that. That'll get us there, but not the bonus reward. And I think that'll have to do. We won't get the bonus ma reward no matter what. All right. Well, we did it, but without the bonus reward. That was an insane mission. Well, some support, 239 science for 10 months. It's fine. Achievement unlocked, victory assured. Okay. The Apollo is a complete in two months. The next phase of the Mars prep is done in two months of the ground hab. So let's just continue on to the next event. And let's design this vehicle. Uh, we'll reuse the shuttle. And we'll use Beetlejuice. And 486,000. Oh, vehicle is not valid. Dang it. So... Let's reuse that. Can we... Give it some extra oomph on the upper stage. I don't think we can. No. What about if we use one of the contractors? No. All right. So I don't understand why it suggests to use the shuttle. Can we design a shuttle? No. Let's, all right, design new vehicle. Upper stage will be... The Saturn II. And the lower stage will be the Saturn V. 982,000. Everything is good. Uh, we can do upgrades. Let's do... Uh, 
Advanced shock absorption, get that reliability a little bit higher up, and that'll be fine. We have a new request mission on Earth, astronaut recovery test. Don't need to do that. And we have the final phase of the ground hab, the Mars landing. Look at that. Alright, we need to deal with drift. All right, we have six turns, two commands per turn. We need to get the drift to zero. It will increase by three every turn. And it adds, it's at three now. So if we... Do a so we need ten, eight, and ten. A location extrapolation and an infrared mapping, and then a gyroscopic. Why can't I do that? Oh, I only have two, but the drift doesn't matter until the final turn. So let's confirm that. Nice, two extra data. I like it, I like it a lot. Because this means that we can do two gyroscopic stabilizations, taking us to six, three, and eight, and getting us to zero. All right. Then we can do a ranging up link an infrared mapping and a location extrapolation next turn which will get us there so we need to do a location extrapolation and then we can do a ranging uplink, giving us our 25% bonus reward. We're right on the money, and we do it with two turns to spare. And we can resist that. And there we go, Mars orbit. Next, next it's Mars descent. We have heat and drift. Heat and drift. Okay. 10 data, 16 nav needed. We get 1 to 3 heat per turn. We're at 2 right now and we keep, need to keep it below 3. The drift needs to be dead center. It doesn't fluctuate or anything though. So that's fine. Okay, so if we do a location extrapolation, and a data compression, that takes us to two and six. We still have six turns, two commands per turn. Our drift goes up quite a bit, but we can fix that. Nice, extra comms there. We don't actually need comms, but we can use it to do two of these. Well, one of these, actually. And then we can do an infrared mapping. That takes us to 8, 3, and 5, and drift right on the money. And zero heat. Let's resist that. Okay, so we have two heat. Do an orbital plane adjustment and an, uh, a location extrapolation. That takes us to 712. And the heat is under control. Dang it. We'll resist that. Right, heat is up to three. So we need to do something about that. We have three turns left. Let's do an external sensor alignment. That takes us to 10 and 14. 
Then we can do... A recharge, I think. Because the next turn we just need to do a location extrapolation. And we are home free. Alright, and the heat is good. So location extrapolation. 50% bonus reward achieved. Drift is right on the money. Heat is zero. And we are good to go. Uh, let's just uh, recharge. Accept. And there we have it. Beautiful. Let's have a look at that ground hab. That is beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. First to do that as well. 375 extra support. Complete Mars prep ground hab. We did. So we get 4 million. And we get... 3,000 support and 948 science for 10 months. Beautiful. Achievement unlocked. Prepared. So 97% Mars readiness. Our mass miss chance of mission success is only average. That's insane. Can we even get up to 100% and be good? So we are at 92% expertise, so we basically just need to do a lot of research, which we are doing. So we basically want to do missions that give us science. Let's give it some extra power. And next month. And we have another new request mission. Private space station gives us a lot of science. Let's plan that mission. Give it some extra crew. Build that payload. And do we have more mission slots? We do, actually. Hmm. I really want to do this. There's the Saturn Orbiter. Well, it takes 77 months. I think that's too long. We'll wait for another request mission down here on Earth. Next month, Mercury is complete. And we'll just reuse the Beetlejuice. Confirm. Budget review. We do hit the next funding level. Next we need to get to 185,000. But then we reach a million a month. Which isn't half bad. Let's continue on to the next event, Mercurial Vacation. A popular travel magazine has followed up its feature on Venus inspired by her previous mission with a four-page spread on holidaying on Mercury. Using images from your exospheric studies mission, the article warns that the unaware traveler may be caught out by the sudden temperature swings from minus 173 to 427 degrees Celsius, but will be wowed by a special quirk of Mercury's slow rotation, be sure to get up early to witness the sun rising, then quickly setting, then rising and setting yet again. Very cool. Gain 200 support. We have a laboratory module. Let's plan that. The Beetlejuice is complete next month. And the water sound suppression research is done. Let's do some launch preparations for this. The payload reliability is crap. 
but wait, what mission is this? Astronaut recovery test. Let's send a scientist for the extra science. And we'll launch next month. Confirm. And the water sound suppression was done. Then I guess we'll do the mobile launch platform. Actually, you know what? Vehicles take a lot less. But these down here at least don't get give you give us Mars expertise. These here do. So let's change to the Atlas 3 booster. It's only 1600 research. And then we'll do the uh, SRBs. Yeah. Let's see. Is there room for our water sound suppression anywhere? There is. Hmm. So let's build it there. Giving us plus five percent launch liability. That's not half bad. And next month month we have the astronaut recovery test but we'll have to do that in the next one guys because we are out of time uh, we're still only average but we're 98 percent so uh yeah thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time